and welcome back to this new video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this DC-15 blaster completely out of cardboard. Let's get started. The first thing I did for this DC-15 blaster is make this template and it has, I cut it out from like this is the entire template but I just cut this piece off because this is the main body of the gun and it might look a bit big but if you look at this pistol, this DC-17 I made uh, a few months ago, it's also quite big, you see that it's like pretty big compared to, to the size of my hand, so um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is cut this piece out, this large piece, and um, transfer that or trace it over to, car uh, to uh, onto some cardboard, and then add these little two details. So what I did here was I cut off the two detail pieces that are on top of the template and then I just took that template I showed you earlier and traced it out on some cardboard two times and then I cut it out. So I cut out both of the pieces that are like make up the main body of the blaster and you can kind of see that there are some, you can see the corrugation uh, on the cardboard but that's not a really a big problem because we can just cover that up that up with some spackle later so now what I'm going to do is make some supports like glue some supports in, be in between these pieces and after that I'm gonna cover up the entire this entire those two pieces with cardboard and uh, I'll show you that right now so here I'm just cutting out those supports and I made three supports in total. You could also do four or five to make it extra strong, but I didn't do that because I felt it didn't, it wasn't necessary. Also make sure when you're gluing on the other piece of the blaster that it's aligned with the other piece, if that makes sense, because otherwise it will not line up when you're gluing on the other pieces. Okay, so I just finished this piece. Well, I didn't finish it, but I finished what I wanted to make, which are these supports. Like, it's kind of like a frame. So now, what I did was I made this piece, which I, I don't know if you can see it, but I cut off, or, or I, cut, yeah, I cut off the top layer and just have this tiny little layer here right now. And what that will do, do is, when I, once I glue this in here, you will not be able to see the corrugation of the cardboard. And so yeah, I'm just gonna do that for every piece that will cover this entire main body of the blaster. So I'm gonna do that right now. So what I'm doing right here is making all these panels that will cover up the main body of the blaster. And I made sure to remove the top layer of cardboard on the sides of each panel so that once I glue them on there won't be any corrugation visible and the end product will look much nicer because of that. Okay so I finished this piece and as you can see there are no seam lines, well a bit here but uh, that we can fix that later. And we can also fix these, like, you, where you can see the corrugation, we can fix that. Uh, so now, I'm going to get my template. And I'm going to make this the handle piece, and maybe I'll... No, I'm going to make the trigger later, because we first need to make this part, because this needs to glue onto that. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you how to make that right now. So I didn't make the trigger, but I did make this detail piece that's on the top of the blaster because I didn't make the uh, grip slash handle for the blaster yet because first I need to make this part and I'm going to explain to you how I'm going to do that right now. So these are a lot of pieces, but I'm going to explain how I'm going to do it. So, in the front here, 
Oh, that's a bit much light. In the front here, I'm going to make a hole. I just cut a hole out of it. And maybe add some supports in the in here. It's gonna be pretty hard. Should have done that beforehand. If you can do that, you should do it beforehand. And I'm gonna put this inside of here, like probably that much. So uh, because that's for the stability so that this does not bend or anything. Then this is going over this. Just I'm gonna just cut off a piece that's about this long. And then I'm gonna make the cone piece, which is gonna be, I don't know, it's gonna be kind of hard. I'm gonna try to do my best to make that. Then I'm gonna make this, I think it's a site, but I don't know. I'm just gonna look at some reference images. And then I'm gonna make this handle and the trigger. And after that comes the, um, uh, what's it called, the barrel. And for the barrel, we'll use this. But this looks pretty ugly, so I'm gonna cover that with some uh, paper towel tubes. And I don't know if this one's long enough, so maybe I'll need a second one. And yeah, this is just, I'm not gonna use this one because this is pretty thin. So that's why I have this one inside, so that it's stronger and when you hold it, it doesn't like, you don't destroy the prop, that would be, that wouldn't be nice. And so yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make this right now. So I made this circle where uh, the cutout needs to be, and now I'm gonna just go in there and cut it out. There are some supports in here, so it's, in some places it's going to be pretty hard to cut. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to do it just like that. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Okay, I got it. So you can see there is this support which we can cut away. I am going to cut it away because it's kind of. Oops. Yeah, I'm never going to be able to get that. Oh well. So now this can fit in here. It's not really strong yet. I mean, it's just kind of loose in there. I don't want to get it stuck. But there is, I don't know if you, no, you cannot see it, but there is a, I can stick it in this far, but I don't want that. But there is another support in, in here, right there. Oh, you cannot see it. Maybe if I get my light. No, you can't see it, but, um, yeah, I'm going to try and make some supports in here. And then we can glue this in. So as you can see here, I'm just gluing on that piece I talked about before. And I also started working on the grip of the blaster. So I just took my, te took my template and I cut that out and just trace it on some, onto some cardboard. And did that two times and make sure to flip over the template and then you should be good. So I started working on the on the handle or the grip piece and this piece has like it needs to sit over come over this like c cylinder piece so uh, but it has to align perfectly so how I measured this was just put it on one side Oh, you can't see it. Put it on one side, put a dot here, then take it to the other side and put a dot there. And that is exactly, well, not exactly, oh, I hope it's exactly. That's 2.3 centimeters. So now I know that the width of this grip needs to be 2.3 centimeters and then it will fit perfectly over this 
cylinder piece. So I'm going to show you how to make the handle right now. So right here I'm making the supports for in between the two grip pieces and also I'm making just I'm finishing off the entire grip and make sure that the grip of the blaster is comfortable to hold so for me it was a little bit bigger because I have quite big hands but for you it might be different and just don't make it too thin and also don't make it too wide and as you can see here I also got a new desk because the old one was just a bit old and right here I'm making the panels that cover up that go around the entire grip and I did the same thing as I did on the body of the blaster cut off the top layer of cardboard on the sides of the pieces so that the corrugation is not visible and here you can see me making a detail piece out of some cereal box cardboard because it's thinner so it will it's nice to work with for details and I just glued that on on both sides and also make sure to flip the template over because you don't want the logos of the cereal box cardboard on your blaster. So just put on these detail pieces so that it creates depth right here and I also glued it onto the body of the gun. It looks really weird right now because it doesn't have a barrel yet but now I'm gonna make this cone piece that sits right here so I'll show you how to make that right now. So for this cone piece I kind of made a cage for the other pieces to rest on and the circle you can see on the front make sure that that is the same diameter as the inner piece of your or the inner diameter of your cardboard tube so just make sure you do that so i made this sort of like cage piece it's not really a cage it looks like a cage <laughs> cage piece for the cone shape that's on the blaster and what i'm gonna do to fill these um hold not not holes but these gaps up are these little pieces of uh toilet paper tube and it's like a triangle piece and i glued a little piece of cardboard right here and then what i can do is let's see put this glue this oh this is hard to do it's hard to do with one hand but you want to glue the small side onto here, the big side onto here, and do that for all four sides, and then it'll be a cone. So I'm going to glue those on right now and they'll show you what it looks like. So I finished putting on all these triangle pieces as you can see. It looks really nice actually. It looks better than I thought. And we're going to spackle this later at the end and then it will look way better because now you can see the support pieces in the middle and yeah so now I'm gonna make the trigger which is gonna go right here so here you can see trigger guard and I trace it out two times so that it's a bit thicker and also I removed the top layer of some cardboard and glued it onto the trigger guard and it just makes it look way better I didn't used to do this before but just Put in the extra time and your plot prop will look way better. So here I cut out five circles I believe to make uh, supports for the barrel of the blaster because if you don't do this the barrel will like kind of bend it will tend to bend and you don't want that so just make these supports it kind of takes some time but just make it right and then your blaster will be a lot stronger. And right here I started to work on the detail pieces on the barrel and I also made these out of cereal box cardboard. I don't know the exact width but just look at some reference images and you'll figure it out. So I just finished all the detail pieces on the barrel and now I'm gonna make the grip part that goes right here. I made these two little bunny ears. And now I'm going to add this strip of a bit of thicker cardboard I used and it's going to be on both sides and I'm going to glue it on right here and make a support in the middle right there. And of course I'm going to cover up this corrugation on the side. So I'll show you how to make that right now.
So I just added this, oh, this thing here, or grip on the bottom. And now I'm going to make the safety switch right here and add some details onto here. So I just finished this, uh, I think it's the power cell for the blaster. And I'm not going to glue this on right now because otherwise it will be really hard to sand this area because this will be on here and then I, I would need to put this back hole like right there and so it's just easier to glue it on after this has been spackled. So now we're gonna spackle this entire thing where it needs to be spackled and then we're gonna sand and paint. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So right here you can see me putting on some primer and after this layer I put on some flat black and the reason I chose flat black is because this blaster is the animated, animated style and I just thought the black would give it a more animated look. Okay, so I just finished painting this entire blaster. I didn't film all the spackling and sanding because that would be too much footage and it would be just boring to watch. So, uh, yeah, I'll just tell you where I spackled it. I spackled this so you, you couldn't see the gaps anymore. And here, just, just everything where you there are gaps visible slash corrugation that you do not want, want to be visible. Just spackle and sand that. And I also added this... I think it's the ammo cartridge or the I guess the, the power cell, that's what, it, that's what it's called. So now I just need to weather the prop, so I'll do that right now. Alright, so I finished with all the I'm finished with all the weathering. Weathering. Uh looks very cool right now. Like the weathering just makes it look like just not like a it's when it's not weathered, it just looks like it's too flat doesn't have any accents but with all these little imperfections it looks way way more realistic so I do suggest that you weather weather this and yeah thank you for watching and uh, on to a montage right now Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video helps you make your own DC-15 blaster. And if you have any suggestions on what I should make in my other videos, please drop a comment below. Until then, goodbye.